Hey, welcome to the show, my math ninjas. Today I have some division problems for you with no remainders. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven division problems. I'm going to be going through these fairly quick. And if you don't know how to do division problems like these, check out my other videos. I go step by step and a lot slower. Um, but this is good practice once you start to get up to that level. And what I want you to do is try to solve these on your own, write them out on a piece of paper, and when you're ready to check it with me, hit that play button. All right, let's go ahead and begin. First of all, I have 54 divided by nine. What is it, my math ninjas? That's right, six. 105 divided by seven. How many times can I put seven into 10? One time. So I put one times seven is seven. Here, subtract 10 minus seven, three. Bring that next number down. That would be a five. So now how many times can I put seven into 35? Five times. All right, excuse me there, little ninja guy. Hey, my goodness, you started to do some big problems here and I gave you a smaller problem. That's okay. Sometimes our brain is like, oh my goodness, eh, we have to switch over to that. So sometimes a simple problem could be a challenging problem. Sometimes we overthink it. So six divided by two, three. Put that right underneath that star right there. All right, whoa, we went from this problem over to a division problem that has a double digit divisor on it. So I have 232 divided by 29. So how many times can I put 29 into this number right here? So over to the side, what I always like to do is I like to do some calculations, excuse me, math ninja guy there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do a few problems um, I'm going to try six. So nine times six would be 54. And then six times two is 12 plus the five would be hundred. The total would be 174. Still too small. So let's move that up a little bit. So I have 29 times, let's just go with eight. Nine times eight, 72. So I put the two here. 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Bingo! We got it. So the answer right here would be 8. All right. So 8 times 29, 232 with no remainder. Next problem. We have 54, I'm sorry, 486 divided by 54. All right, how many times can I, put, can I put 54 into 48? No, so then we have to deal with this big problem here. So here's something I start to look toward. I always look at pa patterns in mathematics. So I need something, and I know that it, if there's gonna be no remainder, I know that 54 times a number right here is gonna, it's gonna hit it right exactly. So is there a number times four that'll give me the six as a last digit? Seven times four is 28. Eight times four is 32. Um, nine times four is 36. So six has the last digit. Let's try nine. So nine times four is 36. Nine times five is 45, 46, 47, 48. So our answer would be nine. So I put nine right here. Nine times 54 is 486. So it's just a, it's kind of like a puzzle. So if you know you have no remainder, it's just a fast way instead of going through like 54 times seven, 54 times eight, just a little speedier way to do it. All right. How many times does six go into 12? Two times. Six times two is 12. Subtract, bring the next number down, all right? And then six times, how many times does six go into zero? Well, six times zero goes into zero, so there's our answer. And if you get a little confused on that one, you can always check your work. So you could take 20 times six, so six times zero is zero, six times two, 120. Easy cheesy lemon squeezy. All right, 
Last problem. Can 43 go into 68? Yes. How many times? One time. So 1 times 43? 43. Subtract. 5, 6, 7, 8. And 2. Now, don't worry that I have a double digit number as a remainder. I need to bring that next number down. So how many times does 43 go into 258? Again, what times 3 equals a number with the last digit as an 8? All right. So would 9 times 3? No, that's 27. 8 times 3? No. Uh, 6 times 3? I think so. Let's try 6 times 43. So I put the 6 here. That would be 18, 24, 25. Bingo, we got 25 right there. So I put six right here. So six times 43 is 258, subtract zero. All right, my math ninjas, how'd you do? How'd you do? Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the other channels and videos I have on here. And like always, have a beautiful day. Adios, goodbye.